38 writers and the Chinese military collectively withdrew from the Chinese Writers Association CWA, recently, including a number of retired senior officers. Such a group resignation marks a first in the CWA's 71 years of history. On December 18th, mainland Chinese writer Lu Tianming posted on Weibo, China's Twitter, saying, According to the latest information, the military has required its own writers to withdraw from the Writers' Association, as well as military personnel who withdraw from other literary and arts associations. The objective is to focus on war preparation. Earlier on December 16th, the CWA issued a statement announcing that 38 military writers have submitted their resignation to the association. And while the statement has since been deleted, the Secretariat has confirmed the resignation. The statement also included the list of retired generals, including Lieutenant General Zhu Zongxian, former Deputy Political Commissar of the General Armament Department of the People's Liberation Army, PLA. Ma Guochao, Deputy Political Commissar of the Naval Air Force. Liu Wenhu, former Dean of the Army Academy of Art of PLA. Wang He Wen, former Commander of the Zhejiang Military Region. Zhou Tao, Vice Chairman of the Xinjiang Writers Association, and so on. As early as May of this year, the CCP Central Committee's inspection team visited the Chinese Writers Association and demanded that writers must provide correct guidance to public opinion. Following along, CCP media outlets then criticized that some writers with so-called distorted values have taken advantage of the pandemic to collude with each other. The CCP propaganda continues, claiming that these writers were echoing the voices from anti-China countries and trying to satirize the Chinese communist regime in order to frame and even attack the government. In the midst of the CCP's so-called fight against the pandemic, these writers were allegedly calling the virus a man-made disaster. Some believe this criticism is aimed at Feng Feng, the former chairman of the CWA chapter in Hubei province. Back during the pandemic, lockdown in Wuhan, Feng Feng recorded her experiences, thoughts, and criticisms in her book Feng Feng's Diary, and later published it in Europe and the United States. She was ultimately slammed by the CCP media for providing ammunition to the Western anti-China forces. Still, a group of writers backed Feng Feng, including Zhang Kangkang, vice chairman of the Chinese Writers Association. He was later banned from Weibo for supporting her. Another Chinese writer, Yan Lianke, also expressed his support, saying, Thank you, Feng Feng. You have picked up the writers and literature space that fell on the ground. Qing Hua Dong, secretary of the CWA Secretariat, the night to speak more on the matter to any Hong Kong media. It's just the requirements in the military reform process carries no special meaning. The Chinese military's reform process has been addressing the issue of soldiers participating in community and non-governmental organizations. In the first half of 2020, the Chinese Military Commission, CMC, stipulated that high-ranking officials must withdraw all types of associations. Instead, only one association related to the profession can be retained at most. In March this year, the CMC went on to revise the regulation to include those over 70 years old to quit their associations as well.